Alright, hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Wars the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Rise of the Robots campaign. The infamous one where we're just using Sparks, Psyops and uh, Templars to beat the game on the highest uh, difficulty. I mentioned that we want to go uh, to Operation Half a Dead Sword to get that uh, sweet, sweet gatekeeper. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Maybe since we have had uh, quite a few... Uh, missions in the last few days we're not even capable of getting the exact same team together with us so let's take a look you should be aware we're detecting lost activity in this area our forces will need to be especially vigilant good we could take Renvin and we're probably going to do that why not he's a fantastic soldier we could take Magister why not he is yet another fantastic soldier and that leaves us with one more Templar or Psyops. I don't want to use uh, Roby to potentially scar him, nor do I want to use Storm. So what we're going to do is naturally what any good person would do. We're taking um, one of the rookies that we potentially can use on this mission. The DM uh, is uh, the decision for today and when we're going into the dm oops uh, let's uh, give him a proper weapon let's see it looks like a good choice blue screen rounds is also a good choice mimic beacon in my book that is all that a rookie needs got one mimic beacon for the entire mission is that going to be enough psychon great good that you asked the answer is yes. Let's make weapons available and give him uh, the Black Mamba, the uh, fully upgraded weapon. So uh, that will leave us only with the question, why do we not have a second blast launcher? That's a fantastic question. We got two Shredstorm cannons. Um, one blast launcher here, but we're missing another blast launcher. So hopefully we're going to get that soon. In the meantime, we're still using rookies um, in month number six or seven. Uh, it's an interesting challenge, let's put it this way. Good, we have landed. Our objective is killing the general. And as always, guys, you would be aware that as long as we're not starting up, um, or as long as we're not discovered, this whole uh, thing will not start. Meaning the timer will not start. So our job is really to make sure that we're not being discovered for now. Let's position ourselves nicely on the edge. And moving to position. Moving to With decent overwatch uh, situation right here, we should be able to engage if we want. Like I said, there's not a lot of upside for engaging right away. Matter of fact, it is better to stay hidden. Let's try to find the um, the enemy first, the general. Once he is spotted out, we can kill it, and then the rest is a non-timed mission. Wait, 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 wait! What the is going on? Are you what? What? Why are why are we shooting although we're in uh, concealment? That does not make any sense. So we have not been spotted out. That's a fact. Um, there is no reason for us to actually take a shot. The only thing that would have happened is that they can um, attack one another. And that's really all there is to it. But most certainly not that we are taking shots. So I'm a bit confused uh, as of why that would have happened. 
I suspect it's maybe an interaction between uh, the packs that um, essentially triggered one another. Uh, so the Loss and uh, Admin are not in the same faction, which means um, as a consequence they can trigger one another. And normally for us it wouldn't really make any difference. Like I said, we are concealed, so nothing would really happen. But in that circumstance, maybe what happened is since they were quote unquote activated, we essentially uh, were treated as if we have no cover, uh, no concealment, sorry. Hmm. Well, if you figure out why that has happened, feel free to share it with me. I would be interested in learning what exactly uh, went wrong. I can tell you though, that now since uh, the cat is out of the bag it's time to go and destroy the commander overdriving wow what a disappointment Good, we're moving over here. I just want to kill the uh, Codex. Thanks to Hunter, which just triggers and triggers and triggers. We are relentlessly killing most of these guys. Mind you, these are all bonus shots, like there is effectively uh, no action used for it. Is this, is this still a target? <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it is still a target. Okay. Something is a bit off in this particular mission. I am not going to complain, but wow, these guys have been clumping into one another. Let's make sure that we're dealing with them properly. So I want to hit this guy. And I want to hit it really, really, really hard. So what we're going to do is we're repositioning. Oh, I see what was happening. Where we got ourselves in a situation where that was a graphical bug. Good. But of course, Shit just doesn't stop there. Uh, things are just getting weirder and weirder. Good. Let's stasis this guy. Don't want him to move anywhere else. Problem solved for now. We're still having to deal with the Mac. What the hell is going on after it started as a nice and cozy sort of uh, interaction and it soon became a horrible, horrible engagement. Overdriving, yes please, and we're going to clean up the field here without using too many resources. If you find yourself in such a situation, uh, remember the core principles of XCOM, which is really stick with the absolute basics and get the, fir uh, the most important targets off the battlefield first. In this case, uh, that is the Lancer and the enemies right there. There we 
go. Regain some focus. Hmm. Should have probably taken a second uh, shot instead. But that's okay, we're still good. Alright, uh, that's one more down. And what I would want to do... Is probably using a Mimic Beacon. That's just the easiest way to deal with all of this here. Do we have another Mimic Beacon here? No, we do not. Okay, cool. All right, fair enough. Let's give this guy here a run for his money. Okay, the backup would have been that we're uh, going to kill him with a spark, but that's fine as well. This gives us some more agency. Still would probably mimic beacon to not uh, get beaten up by the codex. I don't want any um, sonic bomb to happen. This here will kill the guy due to Bladestorm. And we're using some momentum here. So not maximizing the kill uh, kills. Sometimes you gotta think about the next uh, round as well. And by thinking about the next round, I would in particular like to get the mechs closer to our actual target. We're reloading as well because next round that is going to be important. We're picking up an inbound advent transport. The aliens are going to try and extract the general from the AO. Don't let him get on board that ship. There's the blade storm I was talking about. Okay, of course, undoing loyalty. More zombies. And just because we haven't had enough enemies. Let's get some more lost. <laughs> Bring it on. Bring the lost on. Alright, you saw Mimic Beacon, so far so good. Time to deal with the Codex. I need to get it down because we don't want to deal with psionic bombs at all. Case closed. Rocky moves in. And let's hit a, a couple of uh, the losses on the way. There we go, there we go. Uh, it's two, four, six, eight, nine. Sixty-six percent chance to actually kill it. Yep, oh, it was okay. And we're being a bit greedy here. Not bad for a rookie.
Can we speed him up even more? Probably not. I would at least assume we can't. Don't have inspiration. Moving up all the way to here. Grabbing that extra focus. even further we will probably stay here um, Bledsom will protect us from all of the potential incoming damage now the one thing that we need to do though is let's start moving up here One, two, three, and we even got the general. Okay, cool. So one. Target neutralized. Two. Target eliminated. Three. We go for an overwatch uh, to almost guarantee a hit on the general. We move up to here. That's our chance of hitting this guy. We don't want him to just run away. 25% overdriving. That might look wasteful now, but I do have an idea. And that idea is just bombarding him. Mainly with stuff that cannot miss. Okay, that is interesting. So, the game decides it is impossible to hit him with a massive rocket launcher because that little tent here is breaking line of sight. Okay, cool. Got you. Moving on target. So that would be an option. Unfortunately, that little Sky Ranger uh, bit can just not be removed. So I think we can't kill him this turn. Unless we're hitting some decent shots we could move up uh, that'll be a bit risky but the only thing that we could trigger is something from here might as well do that before we're using all of the other moves okay that paid out nicely we're going to overwatch because i do have a um, suspicion that this guy will very soon move and we are going to profit big time Yep, there we go. Menace one five kill confirmed. That's how it's done. We need to clear the area of any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. Well, he is an undead now. I suppose they cannot recover his body, anyways. I might be too tech te uh, technical here, but just saying. Doesn't seem to be really recoverable. All right, moving over here. Very nice. Metro Surges begins to completely tear the front line apart whilst everybody else forms that well-known fire line so 
So I still haven't seen the gatekeeper. And if you remember correctly, that is exactly what we came here for. Scanning approach vector. Moving, okay, moving, moving. 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 And you would have probably not guessed it by now, but we are moving. Proceeding to target. Good, we're for now moving here. There is no loot to be found here. No one gets by. Sensors on Overwatch. Oh, there's uh, the gatekeeper. What a coincidence. We were just talking about you, little fellow. Yep, keep it coming. Overwatch and Guardian uh, or Hunter propped at the same time. Yep. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Okay. Oh boy. Did I mention just how OP that Hunter ability is? Single-handedly starts to become my favorite ability of their tree. Okay, cool. Um, just because I like explosions. We will give you explosions. Good, we destroyed some low level loot. I'm not concerned about that. We're going to deal damage and move away because it will explode in a second. Taking that little high ground bonus for a hundred percent hit. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Boy, boy, the team is really strong. Uh, the combination of the three uh, mechs just with those heavy weapons and just a few packs uh, is enough to get uh, to get you through like 20 ish enemies. It will fall off afterwards because they don't have the heavy weapons, but when they have the heavy weapons, all uh, odds are off. It is just hardcore. Very good. Uh, we would have a promotion here that's uh, non-relevant, but Magister finally makes it to the Corporal rank, which is fantastic. He also has a couple of other abilities. I mentioned how Shadow Step is good. I think we're going to give it to him. I like Ghost. I also like I Ionic Storm. Uh, let's start with Ghost because that's probably the best ability. Let's continue with uh, the Shadow Step. I'm not saying Ghost is always the best ability, but for the final room it certainly is. It just gives you one additional soldier on the battlefield and I very much appreciate that. Probably going to go with Quick Draw at some point. I like Void Conduit as well to give him a chance to regain his hit points. But so far he hasn't even lost them, so... continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. That was good. That was pretty good. Assorted loot could be something worthwhile to look into. Avenger plotting new course. That late in the game, it is usually something good. And let's see if we now have two gatekeepers to upgrade. So, armor um, engineering, and we're building items, weapons. Uh, another gatekeeper shell is missing. That uh, will happen in our next mission. Centers. We're going to fight another gatekeeper, but yeah, we are definitely short on gatekeepers. That's for sure. Mm. 
Mm, so good. Blaster launcher. That's what we were uh, looking for. So now we do have finally all sparks equipped with uh, something fantastic. I think the last one that did not have an upgrade was Stagger. No, we already had a blaster launcher here. Was it Vector? Shredstorm cannon? No, of course. Murphy's Law was the last one. There we go. Rocket launcher into blaster launcher. And that is a fantastic weapon. Can't argue with it, really. So what are we going to do with our proving grounds? Uh, we're building... We don't need any experimental ammunition at this point. Just for the sake of doing it, I suppose. Let's go with another spark. We could take it on missions instead of rookies, I suppose. So it's a bit better. Quadruple spark. Uh, almost done uh, with the encryption. New objective added. There we go. Use the school eject on a codex. I'm That's exactly what we want to do. We're going to continue with the suit. And now we're almost ready to do the next mission. Things are flying by now. We got Sparks, we got uh, um, Magister as a Colonel. We got uh, da -da -da -da. Ranman here, two days until Storm star stops being tired. And two days until Roby stops being tired. The question is, do we really need them on the mission? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. One more day until Hogbite is... Yeah, let's let's optimize uh, that. I'll just wait that additional day and then start invading... And then start invading the Warlock. You may endure this minor effort. Okay, recruitment now is permanently 100% more. And we also got uh, mm, alien infiltrators. The list of active dark events is uh, sizable at this point. Advent isn't exactly known for I am going to skip to that and play it uh, off screen because we've seen enough of those. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So that was rather quick. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off. There we go. That is resistance contacts plus a one and we can now hopefully assign Hogbite here plus uh, um, Magister as a support and Raul, the guy who has been running with them uh, the, uh, throughout the entire run, is now going to help as another um, soldier. So finally, no one gets captured and two colonels are running that mission. Uh, moderate wounding chance, but that's okay. And we Over might even be able to Let's just hope your people can keep up. get that stronghold. Cool. That also means we might want to... We might want to wait like one more day until uh, the tired guys are back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We, I can immediately see what's happening here, and I'm not going to fall for that. Bye bye. I don't want a UFO, and I certainly don't want uh, to defend the Avenger yet again. So, how about we are doing something that is on the other side? Yeah, let's scan for into here. Just got all of the negative traits removed from a rookie. Uh, can we remove traits from someone else? Damn, we have a couple of rookies that just have negative traits. I feel bad for them. Incoming message for you, Commander. And that was a successful overall uh, run a month. Um, the hunter is now even stronger than before. 
I think he will attack soon, right? Doesn't happen yet. Okay, cool. We're still good. Uh, we need to get that one here countered. Permanent dark, uh, permanent closing of uh, the black market is not okay. And two hidden events are nasty as well. Good. We're definitely going to take tactical analysis in here. We can take uh, the extra resistance contact out, like I mentioned it before, which means we continue with 33% uh, lower costs. That is good. We don't need any of uh, that. Yep. It's pretty much uh, mm, very good. For the defeat of the elders. We got so many supplies now. It's... Well, certainly not a problem of uh, resources at this point in the game. Uh, we're just missing one more gatekeeper. Superior repeater, yes, thank you. That is a pretty good item. Superior perception, yes, that's a pretty good item as well. We got superior speed already. Autoloader isn't needed. Chosen information isn't needed either. Uh, and the autoloader is needed either. So that's all good. Avenger plotting new course. We're just waiting until the guys are no longer tired, which should be very soon. And then we can do the next mission. Let's see. So we got spark, spark, spark. That's good. Psy operative. That's uh, good. And a Templar. So that's five. And another Psy operative. That's six. Yeah. That is exactly what we wanted to see. So we're ready for the next mission. And that brings us naturally also to the end of this mission here. Thank you for watching as always guys if you enjoyed the content uh, feel free to leave uh, that nice and friendly uh, comment down below and uh, hit the like button that would really help me out and it would populate the videos even further thanks and have a great one see you in two days bye bye